Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we'd like to talk about the health benefits of bilberry. Now, most of you have heard of this little berry, bilberry, as a remedy for eyesight. Well, on today's program, you'll learn that bilberry can be used for far more than just the eyes. It's really interesting stuff, this bilberry. Stay tuned for that first. Let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Alcohol use is the biggest single risk factor for dementia. Researchers from the Center for Addiction and Mental Health evaluated over one million French citizens diagnosed with dementia. They found the heavy use of alcohol was the largest preventable risk factor for dementia. In fact, of the 57,000 subjects diagnosed with dementia prior to 65 years of age, almost 60% were chronic heavy drinkers. The researchers also found heavy alcohol use shortens lifespan by more than 20 years. The study was published by The Lancet Public Health. Well, this one will certainly get your attention. Regular heavy drinking, defined as five or more drinks a day for men and three or more a day for women. Well, that is the number one preventable risk factor for dementia and especially early dementia with onset prior to age 65. Of the 57,000 diagnosed with early dementia, 57% were heavy drinkers. The study also found those who drink a lot also have other risk factors for dementia and poor health in general, including tobacco use, hypertension, diabetes, and depression, along with hearing loss. I think everyone watching today knows from their life experience that drinking even one or two drinks a day over time erodes health. But learning the dangers of heavy daily drinking is a real eye-opener. Perhaps the most important thing we can do here is to highlight the lifestyle traits that help to lower our risk of dementia. First is a healthy Mediterranean style of diet with fresh organic foods free of pesticides and food additives. Engaging in regular exercise helps to promote the regeneration of brain cells, thus lowering dementia risk. Making a practice of regularly challenging ourselves with mental tasks and frequently engaging in social interaction also helps to keep our brain strong. Supplement our diet with higher doses of B vitamins. Well, that helps to promote brain mass and brain power. The manageable list of brain-promoting dietary supplements includes ginkgo biloba, curcumin, fish oil, vitamin D, probiotics, and extracts of the grape. They all have proven health benefits for the brain. Now, there are others, but these are the big hitters. If we are doing these healthy things, it is my belief that the occasional ceremonial or celebratory alcoholic beverage does little to no damage. But again, you can't have 52 birthday parties a year. Smokers who use vaping to quit are more likely to succeed than those using nicotine patches or gum. Researchers from Queen Mary University of London followed almost 900 smokers who wanted to stop smoking. Half used nicotine replacement therapy such as the patch or gum, the other half used vaping. At the end of the one-year study, those who used vaping were twice as likely to have stopped smoking. This is the first study to compare vaping with nicotine replacement therapies and smoking cessation. The study was published by the New England Journal of Medicine. Well, folks, here we have good evidence that vaping nicotine solutions are a more effective way to stop smoking, almost twice as helpful as wearing a nicotine patch or chewing nicotine gum. However, there are a few caveats to this finding in vaping in general. The researchers also found those who used vaping to stop smoking were more likely to succeed, but they were also, now get this, nine times more likely to continue vaping at a year than those who used the patch or gum to stop smoking. So in other words, using vaping to stop smoking is much more likely to lead to long-term nicotine use than those who use the patch or gum. Another recent study found teens are more likely to start nicotine use by vaping, which may lead to eventual tobacco smoking. Also from other research, we've learned that the vapor of uh, the flavored vaping solutions, you know, the berries and the cherry and vanilla, all those flavored solutions when vaporized create harmful chemicals that damage the respiratory tract. This type of damage is probably not as harmful as cigarette smoke, but why incur any damage at all? Stick with unflavored vaping solution for the safest and most effective way we know of yet to stop smoking for good. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss the remarkable health-promoting properties of bilberry extract. Stay tuned to learn more.
Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Cindy Becker, and this is your health at a glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. Welcome back everyone. It's such a blessing to be with you. Today we have a great show prepared. We're going to be talking about the amazing nutrient bilberry. We often think of bilberry as one of those amazing nutrients that helps us to preserve our eyesight naturally and you're going to see that it definitely is but there's so much more to it. By the end of today's program, you're gonna to wanna to add bilberry to your plan. So Richard, what is bilberry anyway? Well, it's a nice little uh, purple to black berry that grows in the Northern Hemisphere and nutrient poor soils. And it's a very beautiful little berry, that deep dark purple, a deep purple look. It's, it's as, as though nature's saying, look at me, look at me. And of course the, the bears, the black bears and, and the people of the native people of the north, they are highly dependent on these berries to help provide them with plant-based vitamin C rich foods to help sustain them through the winter and their lifestyle up there. The bilberry is native to the British Isles, Northern Europe, Northern North America, way up north, way up north. Bilberry goes by several names. It's also known as blueberry and huckleberry wordleberry, wineberry, and myrtle blueberry. Now, the huckleberry, or the, excuse me, the bilberry, it looks like a blueberry. And the two are related, but blueberry and bilberry are distinctly different berries. Uh, there are also several other varieties of berries that are called huckleberries, but most of the time, if the local people call the plant a huckleberry, the berry a huckleberry, it is actually a bilberry most of the time. One of the ways to distinguish a blueberry from 
a bilberry or huckleberry is the pulp is red purple while the blueberry pulp is a light green. You know, when you open a blueberry, it's a light green pulp inside. But the bilberry is a deep red to purple pulp on the inside. The scientific name for bilberry is Vicinium myrtillus. Vicinium myrtillus. And the Vicinium is the general family for all these berries. They're all in that category. One of the unique things about bilberry and many of these berries is they can grow in very poor nutrient depleted soils in temperate regions of the cold of the world where it gets very cold they love to grow on the mountainside at high altitude you will find them they are hard to cultivate because you know nutrient depleted soils that's not where we put our farms we put farms where the soil is rich and full of nutrients well bilberry doesn't really like that kind of soil so most of the use of bilberry over the centuries has just been native wild harvest but the demand for bilberry is increasing so we are seeing cultivation of bilberry now it grows naturally all by itself in up to 20% of the wild lands in Sweden. And you can imagine Sweden, there's a lot of rocky outcroppings, mountainsides in Sweden. That's not where you typically put farms. It's, it's poor soil for farming, but that's where bilberry loves to grow. It has 1,000 years of recorded historical use. And of course, I am certain. Humans have been consuming bilberry for hundreds and hundreds and years longer than just a thousand years. The putative use of bilberry, meaning the cultural or by reputation use over the centuries, as an astringent. The unripe berry has a very tart astringent taste to it. It is often used in that unripe state for astringent properties. Now what is an astringent? Astringent will shrink swollen tissues. So let's say there's trauma or infection. Putting an astringent on those swollen tissues helps to shrink it down and helps with the pain. Used as an astringent, used in diarrhea and dysentery, urinary tract problems such as a bladder infection or dysuria, painful urination. That's a very common use for bilberry. It is used to treat and prevent scurvy, vitamin C deficiency. It's used as a daily tonic treatment of intestinal problems, respiratory and skin infections. And one of the interesting uses was to improve the vision of World War, I, World War II fighter pilots. The Royal Air Force fighter pilots often would bake, their cooks would bake bilberry pies. If you want a young man to eat berries, bake them a pie. They will eat them, won't they? Because it's so delicious, so delicious. And the, the pilots would say, it improves my low light vision. You know, in that era of uh, fighter pilots, they didn't have the instruments that we have today. They depended very much on their compass and their eyesight, and the better the eyesight, typically the better the pilot. So they would bake bilberry pies and feed it to the pilots, and the pilots felt it improved their vision. Now, that conclusion has come into uh, contest in recent years, but recent science, as we'll get to in a minute, proves that those World War II Royal Air Force pilots were right on. It does improve your low light vision. Uh, bilberry is also used to treat wounds and stomach gastric ulcers and help to improve the healing. Now the German E Commission, which is in Germany, the German E Commission approves dietary supplements and herbal therapies as part of their health insurance uh, program they have there. The German E Commission has approved bilberry for acute diarrhea, particularly in children. So this gives you a notion that it is a gentle therapy. It's tolerated by children and it can be quite effective in helping them with acute diarrhea, such as what occurs with the enterovirus, salmonella, the flu bug, this type of thing. It's very common use throughout the world. It is also approved by the German E-Commission for inflammation of mucous membranes. Any type of slippery membrane like the mouth, if it's inflamed, bilberry is used for that. Now, the real essence of these berries, the bilberry, and why they are so helpful in so many different conditions depends on its chemical composition.
So we're gonna have a little chemistry lesson here. Stick with me, there's power in this knowledge if you're just willing to stay with me and learn a little chemistry with me. First, the bilberry is rich in what is called fruit acids. This is such as quinic acid, malic acid, and citric acid. Now, citrate, and citric acid, malic acid, they do some remarkable things for us. For one thing, they help to prevent kidney stones. It's very helpful to create an environment in the urine that discourages the formation of stones in the urinary tract. They also help to fight yeast and pathogens in the intestinal and the urinary tract. So these fruit acids are very helpful for humans in a medicinal way. They provide the astringent quality to help shrink swollen tissues, and it provides acidic properties. These are, mild, these are mild acids, they're weak acids, many times weaker than your stomach acids, so it's not gonna interfere with the acidity of your stomach in any way. They're mild acids, but they help to acidify our systems and our urinary tract, which is a very healthy thing to do. So the fruit acids are very helpful tannins, the tannins in the fruit. Catechin tannins, such as oligomeric procyanidins. These are remarkably helpful um, antioxidants in our system. These tannins, catechins, are also, you find those in teas, green tea, as part of their beneficial properties. The bilberry has this as well. Bilberry also contains anthocyanins. These are the primary pigments in the peel of the berry. These are polyphenolic antioxidants. We've talked a lot about polyphenols on this program and their remarkable health-promoting properties. We find these polyphenols in curcumin, uh, grapeseed extract, um, olive leaf extract, and we find now that the bilberry is the richest single source of these anthocyanins, even when compared to grapes, the purple skin of a grape. They have the bilberry around 27 milligrams of anthocyanins per 100 grams of fruits. That's among the highest ever found in any of the berries or any of the fruits throughout nature. That's impressive to me. Very rich source of these anthocyanins. Flavonoids, more polyphenols, including quercetin, astragalin, and hyperside. These basically, not only are they antioxidants, but they improve the health of the cell. And this has all been mapped out by our brilliant scientists. Improves the health of the cell. Iridoids, aspirulicide, monoterpenes provide defensive molecules for the plant. Now, if the berry is not ripe enough to be a proper seed so that the plant can regenerate itself with the next generation, these iridoids are high in, found in high abundance. And what that does is it keeps the bear from, or the human from eating the berry till it's ready to be a seed. They're bitter when they're not ripe right? They're, they're bitter. And these iridoids are used for plant defense. It also is used as a natural antibiotic by the plant, and we can take advantage of that. Let's finish this out before we go to the break. Caffeic acid derivatives. These are precursors to the polyphenols, such as chlorogenic acid, powerful antioxidant, powerful anti-cancer, and they, count in, they counter mycotoxins. So, one study found aflatoxin, which is the mold that grows on corn, which is a powerful cancer-causing agent in human beings. The caffeic acids made by the bilberry counters the toxic effect of aflatoxin by 95%. Very helpful with dysbiosis, the abnormal chemicals that are produced in, in the yeast syndromes and various fungal infections, the caffeic acids help to detoxify these toxins. Now, this has nothing to do with caffeine. This is not caffeine. It is a different substance, caffeic acids. And of course, pectins, the fiber from uh, that all plants have, that's also found in abundance in bilberry. Well, let's go to our break. When we return, we'll continue our discussion on the remarkable bilberry.
Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Our health depends on the choices we make every day. And few conditions are as dependent on our choices as diabetes. So here is your daily diabetic checklist. Number one, take your diet seriously every day. Eat lean protein and leafy vegetables. Number two, sugars and starches raise blood glucose. So reduce them in your diet. Number three, check your blood glucose and record the readings every day. Number four, take your medication daily and don't skip. And number five, try to exercise every day. It will help you take off weight, which will help your body regulate blood sugar better. If you are diabetic, this is your quick daily checklist that could make life better. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, talking about the amazing nutrient bilberry. So, Richard, now that we know what bilberry is, yes. let's talk some pharmacology. What exactly does bilberry do in our bodies? Well, it does so many things. This is part of the high-quality foods that we should include in our diet on a regular basis that help to counter low-quality foods and nutrient-depleted foods and fried foods and high-sugar foods. That, uh, they serve a distinct purpose. One, of course, is the antioxidants. Antioxidants help to diffuse the aberrant metabolic waste that we all have in our bodies. It's kind of like the smoke from a fire. You know how noxious smoke from a fire is in our eyes and in our lungs? It's not good for us. Well, when we burn our foods, we create a metabolic smoke, as it were. It's very similar to that. Chemically, it's, it's essentially the same. And this smoke from the fire, particularly in like diabetes and, and uh, poor diets, it has to be countered. And God gave us native antioxidant systems in our body to help uh, counter this. But foods in our diet help to counter that effect as well. And what they do for you is they calm the inflammation in cells, preventing these chronic degenerative diseases that plague society in the modern era. This is the essence of how to stay young, even into your 60s, 70s, 80s, and even into the 90s if we take care of ourselves. It is possible. Antioxidant properties, antiseptic properties. Our intestinal tract, our respiratory tract, our skin is full of microbes. And as long as that microbe level is healthy and well-balanced, it promotes good health. But with antibiotics, all the things that lead to intestinal dysbiosis, yeast overgrowth, bacterial overgrowth, 
These antiseptics found in natural foods help to contain those pathogens that can take over and cause intense inflammation throughout our bodies. That has been proven for Bill Berry. Anti-neoplastic. Our bodies are in a constant battle with abnormal cellular growth that can result in cancer. Our foods help to prevent that process and that has been shown to be very uh, present in bilberry and all berries and all fruits and vegetables. But bilberry is particularly rich, particularly these anthocyanins that are found in such a high amount, that deep, dark, purple to black color of the bilberry. That's where we're finding these pigments that help to prevent cancers in our body. Now, our next area is of particular interest because of the historical use of bilberry to improve vision. The ophthalmic protection and improvement of vision. Bilberry, modern science confirms, increases rhodopsin. Rhodopsin is the purple rod Purple, it's a purple protein in the retina of the eye, and when a photon hits that rhodopsin, it causes an excited, it turns the photon into an electron which is perceived as a signal in the brain. What that ends up doing is gives you low light vision. How many of you have noticing it's harder to drive at night? Have you noticed that as you get older, it gets harder and harder to drive at night? Well, if we supplement our rhodopsin or bilberry, which promotes rhodopsin, it may help you considerably with your night vision. It is worth a try. And science has shown this to be true. It inhibits the breakdown of rhodopsin, and it also improves the retinal blood flow. So not only do you have more rhodopsin for low light vision, but it also improves the blood flow so everything works better in the back of the eye. It also decreases capillary fragility and permeability. You don't want your blood vessels in your eye to leak. That is not good. That is the essence of macular degeneration. We do not want it. Now, you might say, well, bilberry, that would be a great remedy for macular degeneration, and it may be. However, bilberry is low in lutein and zeaxanthin. Lutein, zeaxanthin, these are the pigments found in the macula, and they are an orangey-yellow color. Think of a marigold when you think of lutein and zeaxanthin. Bilberry is low in lutein and zeaxanthin. But if you combine bilberry with lutein and zeaxanthin, now you have a great remedy to protect the eyes. Let's finish out the macular degeneration concept. Blueberry, lutein, zeaxanthin. Combine these for a great eye formula. Omega-3s. Be sure your, pro, your, your supplement package contains bilberry, lutein, zeaxanthin, omega-3s, zinc, copper, vitamin C, and vitamin E. This is based primarily in the AREDS series of studies to protect the eyes in macular degeneration and to slow the progression of macular degeneration. Now you have a good plan for the eyes. Bilberry provides improved blood flow, reduced scarring, and antioxidants for the eye. The pigments of the eyes are supported through bilberry, especially if you include lutein and zeaxanthin. I want to be sure everybody gets this because so many, you know, when you lose your vision, what happens? We stay home more than we should. We need to stay, we need to be adventurous. We need to go out and be with people. And when our vision is compromised, it gets harder and harder to do that. So that's a good plan to help keep your eyes strong well into your senior years. Now, what else does Bill Berry do for us? It improves wound healing. This has been shown by science. It improves the blood flow. It decreases the swelling around the wound. It lessens inflammation. It improves cell signaling, and it has antibiotic actions. The people of the north, the natives of the north, would use poultices made of bilberry to put right onto wounds. And you can do that today. And you can take the bilberry uh, dietary supplement internally. You can even open capsules and put it right on wounds. You can do this. It's okay to do. Now, your doctors and your nurses, they don't do this in the clinic anymore, do they? But we have our home remedies that are perfectly fine to do and very effective. My goal is to help keep you out of the hospital 
with home remedies that are remarkably powerful and effective. And that is the whole point of science, to predict what will work well for you. Then we're not doing an experiment at home. We're following good science. Anti-ulcer, multiple animal studies now have shown when you induce an ulcer in an animal and then feed them bilberry, their ulcers feel faster. So we could use this, perhaps you're using it in anti-inflammatory due to arthritis like your ibuprofen, but it bothers your stomach. Take a little bilberry with it. It will make you more tolerant of your anti-inflammatories. Vasoprotective opens blood vessels while it helps to lower the risk of cardiovascular disease and inhibition of platelet adhesiveness. This initiation of a blood clot where platelets come together and begin to form that clot, Bilberry has been shown to help prevent that as well. When we return, let's look at some science, some studies on humans. We'll be back. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Heavy metal poisoning is a growing concern, and it may play a role in your health. It can happen through occupational exposure or environmental pollution or both. If you work in a metal shop, a smelting plant, or any type of facility that uses electroplating or welding, you may be suffering from heavy metal exposure. But those of us who live in cities may suffer from heavy metal exposure through environmental pollution. It's the number one cause of heavy metal poisoning. It can occur over a long period of exposure, or it can happen after a single dose. Symptoms can be overlooked because they're symptoms of common diseases such as fatigue, memory loss, tremor, joint pain, and indigestion. These are common symptoms of heavy metal poisoning. If your health is declining and you haven't been able to figure out the underlying cause, discuss heavy metal poisoning with your doctor. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, maitake, reishi, shiitake, and cordyceps sinensis. At BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing Mushroom Cordyceps Sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone. Now you're starting to see the amazing, amazing effects of bilberry. Well, to help you get this added to your nutritional plan, we have a great special today. We have our Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Bilberry. Buy one, get one free, where you buy one bottle at the regular price, you get a second bottle free. That's a great way to get started, Richard. Yes. So now, let's talk some science. Yes, all those uh, health-promoting properties of bilberry we were just discussing, like the anti-cancer actions, the antioxidant actions, the anti-ulcer actions, these have all been conducted and, and proven in test tube 
animal and human studies. Uh, also, we have microvascular injury helping protect the vascular tree. They've been able to show that the anthocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocyanocy
that bilberry should be used to prevent cardiovascular disease complications and diabetes. Now, do you think you're going to hear that when you go to your internist and get a checkup for your diabetes? You will not learn anything about nutritional therapies there. But the world scientists want you to know the evidence is strong that bilberry will help you diabetics. I really want this to sink in, folks. Please use the natural world to its fullest extent. There are certain things that medicines can't do. And it, the longer I study this, the more I am convinced there are more things naturals can do than the medicines. Now, I don't want to live in a world without good medication. I don't, that's not what I'm saying. But we are completely pushing aside the gifts from our Creator. And that's wrong. So I think I hear a lot of amens out there and like-minded people. Let's go to our break. We have a little more. Your condition could be next. There's some impressive things with Bilberry and your improved health when we return. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. During this holiday season, think of the words of the English writer G.K. Chesterton who said, when it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or take them with gratitude. No matter the size of our problem, Jesus cares. The Apostle Paul gave the Philippian church this advice in Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Multiple Vitamin and Mineral Powders come in four different blends. That's right. When it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the Organic Green Blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the Berry Blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the active adult blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. We're back, everyone, having a great discussion on bilberry. This is just amazing, isn't it? Well, to help you get bilberry in your nutritional plan, we have a great special today. We have Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Bilberry at buy one, get one free. Buy one bottle at the regular price, you'll get a second bottle free. So, Richard, 
Yes. This is great, great information. It really is. And there's so much more to Bilberry than just eye protection, Absolutely. and that's really what well, I really think about when I think of Bilberry. So much of this is brand new science. This is why we do update shows, because there's so much new information. Every year, our knowledge essentially doubles. It's a lot to keep up with, but it's worth the effort. The next action of Bilberry, it calms inflammation, and they've been able to prove exactly how it does it. The enzymes affected and whatnot, they know all this now. If your doctor says, well, your highly sensitive CRP is elevated, which tells me, Mrs. Jones, you're inflamed. We need to do something about that. We know Bilberry will lower your highly sensitive CRP, HSCRP. This is a very common screening test to see if you're inflamed. It will lower it, and they know how it works. Cardiovascular disease, this one's fascinating. This is a study of 50 patients who had a heart attack who received usual conventional therapies, plus half received bilberry. The group that took bilberry walked on average 50, excuse me, 38 meters further after their heart attack. The antioxidants promoted blood flow to the heart so effectively they could walk about 150, 100, 150 well, about 120 feet further, 120 feet further than those who did not. That's impressive to me. It improves blood flow after a heart attack. Cataracts, 50 subjects with early cataracts, 180 milligrams bilberry with vitamin E, prevented the progression of cataracts. Prevented the progression of cataracts in 98% of the subjects. Second study, 51 patients with cataracts, bilberry with vitamin E over time caused regression of cat cataracts. If you follow the patient long enough, you'll see the cataracts slowly regressing. Now. The most common eye surgery done in America is cataract surgery. There are many ophthalmologists who pay their bills with cataract surgery. And thank goodness for them. They do great work for us. But I wouldn't mind at all if that number was reduced by 50%. Wouldn't that be great if people didn't need cataract surgery? Well, these are the types of foods that will help you prevent the progression of cataracts, bilberry. Dysmenorrhea, who would think of this? Painful periods, 30 patients with a history of painful periods, bilberry for three days prior to menses, decreased nausea, decreased vomiting, soreness, and tenderness. As diverse of helpfulness as painful periods. Gastric ulcers, we've talked about that. Inflammatory bowel disease, this is one of the putative or historical uses of bilberry is to calm the inflamed intestinal tract. It's really fascinating. There's good evidence for this now. Multiple test tube animal and human studies reduced uh, free, uh, excuse me, improved antioxidant action, free radical scavenging, anti-inflammatory action, antiviral, anti-cancer action, uh, nerve protective properties in the inflamed intestinal tract, making it a very effective treatment for inflammatory bowel disease. And it validates the historical use of bilberry for inflamed intestines. Severe myopia, this is severe nearsightedness. This is the person that you may see with what they say, pop bottle, eyeglasses, severe myopia, 100 diopter correction, severe, reduced dazzling, improved clarity, and improved twilight vision with severe myopia. Night vision, we talked about that, improvements of vision, multiple studies conducted on normal subjects failed to find improvement of bilberry, but these are normal eyesight people. But if we have failing vision, that's where bilberry shines, and to help preserve eye health well into our senior years. Varicose veins, 47 patients with phlebitis, secondary to varicose veins, reduced edema, swelling, reduced heaviness, reduced burning pain, leg cramps, itch, paresthesia, all the tinglings that occur when your veins are inflamed in your legs, will help to preserve skin thickness and color, reduced all the bruising, of the varicose, you know the pigments, when you have varicose veins with phlebitis, you get pigments deposited in your leg, and so you get this bronzy color to your legs. If you have it, you know what I'm talking about. Bilberry helps to prevent that. Isn't that amazing? Now, who should consider taking bilberry? Let's get into that list. Let's, this is really the summary of all of the effectiveness of bilberry. If you have diabetes, and specifically if you have diabetic retinopathy, please consider Bilberry. If you have cataracts, 
If you have cardiovascular disease, coronary artery disease, peripheral vascular disease, phlebitis, varicose veins, even hemorrhoids. We can't cover all the different uses, but anything vascular, bilberry has a, a benefit too. Gastrointestinal issues, peptic ulcer disease, non steroidal anti-inflammatory, anti-inflammatory drug use, very helpful, bilberry. Infections of the intestinal tract, urinary Infections, that's one of the historical uses. Arthritis, including gout, dermatitis, it can be applied directly. Now, there are pigments that may stain clothing, but you can make poultices by opening the capsule and pouring that right onto a poultice and applying it to the wound. Wound healing, menstrual issues, thermal bur uh, burns, improved circulation, and of course, the German E Commission's use for diarrhea and inflamed mouth, particularly diarrhea in pediatric. Uh, use. Now, let's go to our break, and when we return, let's talk about how to dose bilberry, and are there any cautions or concerns or side effects to bilberry? Important information remains. We'll be right back. CoQ10 and L-carnitine are among the most important nutrients our bodies use for energy production. Deficiency in these key nutrients can cause serious complications to your health. In fact, statin drugs that are used to lower cholesterol may deplete your CoQ10 levels. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10 with L-carnitine. Now providing support for cardiovascular health is easier than ever before. CoQ10 and L-carnitine support a healthy heart naturally, as nature intended. And our formulation provides 300% greater absorption of CoQ10 than similar products using a technology so effective it's patented. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Are you looking for a healthy replacement for sodas? For thousands of years, the Far East has enjoyed the many health benefits of green tea. Now the Western world has embraced this potent antioxidant for its many health benefits as both a drink and supplement. Green tea has been thoroughly researched. It's been shown to improve bone density and immunity, as well as levels of cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure. Research has also shown it to decrease inflammation and one's risk of cardiovascular disease and many forms of cancer. One recent study even found that people who drink five or more cups a day were 33% less likely to develop conditions that cause disability. For health, it is everyone's cup of tea. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your Health is brought to you by Bioinnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder. I don't want you to miss it. We have the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Bilberry. Buy one, get one free, and that's today only. So get your order in. Richard, time yes. is short, but there's still some more information that's quite pertinent. We want to know if there's any side effects to taking Bilberry, and how do we dose this? Well, the one potential side effect is the platelet inhibition effect is so effective 
that if you are taking warfarin or Coumadin, the brand name Coumadin warfarin, to prevent blood clots, it may be too much for you. Now, I'm not saying you can't take bilberry and have warfarin as one of your medicines, but if you decide to supplement higher levels of bilberry, you should do the blood test to see if you need a reduced warfarin dose because bilberry is so effective in preventing a platelet adhesion and the initiation of a blood clot that you might get into a little trouble. Does that make sense? I want to be clear because I think people rely too heavily on warfarin and not a healthy diet. And there are exceptions to every statement. Some people, they absolutely must be on warfarin. That's the best option for them. But how many of us are just placed on anticoagulant therapies when really they need to improve their diet and their lifestyle? I think it could be millions worldwide. This is pure speculation, but I, I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. So there is that possibility. If you're on warfarin or coumarin or anything that inhibits uh, blood clotting, caution with bilberry. Uh, if you are pregnant or lactating, we do not have toxicology studies on bilberry and the effect on the developing fetus, the baby as it grows. We do not have those types of studies. But I can tell you the people of the north have relied upon bilberry as a food for all inhabitants of the village for hundreds and hundreds of years, including pregnant mothers mothers who are lactating, and infants and newborn babies, etc. I would find it, if, we, if it caused problems in pregnant mothers and, their, and the babies, I think we'd know about that from hundreds and hundreds of years of use. Don't you think so? But I do have to say they don't have the science to, on it to, to say. But the German E-Commission says it can be used for children, including infants, who have diarrhea. That's a pretty good endorsement. If you are taking m multiple medications, you should always discuss anything with your doctor because if you're on a list of 5, 8, 10, 15 medicines, anything can happen because that combination of drugs has never been studied by anybody anywhere. You are an experiment when you're on that many drugs. You don't know. This is a topic for another program, but if you're on multiple medicines, if you add anything, you should have a quick talk with your doctor. Now, how do you take this? The bilberry that we have for you, 440 milligram capsules, that's the total weight, which contain 320 milligrams of bilberry fruit extract plus 120 milligrams per capsule of 25% anthocyanin. So there's the bilberry fruit extract plus a concentrate bilberry fruit extract guaranteed to contain 25% anthocyanocytes. So what this means is, if you take one or two a day, that is a more than ample dose, equaling a cup of bilberries, fresh bilberries. We take all the moisture out, take the fiber out, and give you the potent, nutrient-dense anthocyanides, the pigments, and all the goodies that make up the health benefits of bilberry. So one or two capsules equals a very significant dose. You can take more, it's safe to do, but it's not necessary for most conditions. Bilberry, what an amazing substance. And human beings have been relying on it for thousands of years to promote health in the far north countries. Well, we can take advantage of it too. What a fascinating subject. Thank you for your kind attention, folks. We'll see you tomorrow right here in your health. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.